G'day guys, Steve with Broken Sprocket. In this video, I'm going to be replacing the brake rotors and the brake pads on my Toyota Hilux. I have the vehicle sitting on some good solid jack stands underneath the chassis so I can gain access to the brakes and brake rotors once I remove the wheels. So, let's get started. Now with the front wheel off, you can see the disc rotor here. You can see that there's a, a bit of wear here and there's grooves in the thing. There's also a bit of a lip here. And we've also got the brake caliper area. The brake pads aren't that worn, but because the rotor is quite worn, you must replace the brake pads with the new rotor. So this one here is getting a little bit of vibration when you put the brakes on. And I'm assuming it's because these rotors are that worn out and there's probably a, a little bit of warping in them which gives it a little bit of brake shutter now and again when you put on the brakes hard. Now with the bolts removed from the caliper you should easily be able to slide this caliper off just like that. Okay, I've got the brake uh, caliper here just supported by a piece of wire up to this upper control arm here and that just holds the weight of it so that the brake line isn't taking the weight of the caliper while you work on it so that you can work on it safely without going to be at the risk of damaging this brake line here or any other parts of it so the wire is just supporting it so when you put it down or something no weight is on this brake line. Okay, I'm going to try and compress these pistons just by using these multi-grips here and squeezing. As you squeeze, it'll push it in and the fluid will go back up and into the reservoir. And just a nice, nice easy push. And that takes them all the way back. Same on this side. Compress both of them. They feel like they've gone all the way in. And so the same for this side here. Now I like to compress them by using the old pad because it doesn't really matter if you damage these old pads, they're going to be replaced with new ones. So I like to squeeze on the old pad and it puts a nice firm solid surface on that piston without risk of damaging the piston in any way. Okay, new brake pads, simply take those out and get two of them out so that we can put those in place where those other pads are. You can see here it will say right hand right hand so this is the right hand side pads now to remove the old pads just turn the disc around a little bit and you'll see these two steel bars here now there's a piece of wire there and that piece of wire holds these two little steel rods in so you must remove this little piece of wire remove those rods this piece here will come out as well and that's holding pressure on the pads and the pads should be able to then be released and come out Okay, the piece of wire is out. Now you should be able to just slide these out. You might need a screwdriver or something to grab them. Yeah. Once that, once that thing that just flew on out comes out, it takes a lot of the pressure off that pad. So once that's out, they're quite easy to slide out. And then the pads can come just straight out like this. Simply place these new ones in. Now when you put this pin through, it goes through both of the cal uh, brake pads but it also must hook under this piece here because this piece here acts as a bit of a spring. It's under the, the uh, rod here and it pushes down on the pads from this point here, here. So when it pushes down, it puts pressure on those pads. Now square those up nice and neat. That's got pressure on it. Make sure this is all firm and in place. 
So now just put that piece of wire back in so those pins can't come back out. Feed that back into there. And that's it. To remove the brake rotor, there are two nut plate sort of things here, or two holes with threads in them. And you have to get a bolt with the same thread, put one in each side. As you tighten the bolt, it will pull this brake rotor off because it's sort of, sort of squashed in around this hub area. So the pressure of that will pull this rotor off and that's how you get those off. You can see that it's moving it pretty easily. So, and I didn't even need two bolts, just one. Remove those bolts. Take the rotor off. Just simply put the new rotor on. Now when the wheel tightens it up or you, once the caliper's on there, that will sit in place and once you tighten the wheel nuts for the first time it will push this on a little bit more solid than what it is now. Okay, we need to remove the wire from the caliper and reinstall the caliper. The disc obviously goes in between the pads too easily. Nice and easy on. And put the bolts back onto the rear of the caliper. So I now have it with both sides of the car complete, but I still haven't put the wheel back on this side. I'm just gonna push on those brakes and show you how the calipers compress onto the disc. And then this vehicle is ready to go, ready to be driven. Happy days. So that's it for this video guys, I just needed to change the brakes on my Hilux, I thought it might be interesting to somebody or someone may find it useful. So just a short video, oh look Ruby's come to visit, hello Ruby. Don't forget you can follow Broken Sprocket on Instagram and don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more videos like this. See you next time.